Hey everyone, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Glad to have you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can be friends. Today I am going to show you how to make a Mickey Mouse head pop-up shaker card. <laughs> so you're going to need an outline of a Mickey Mouse head. If you can't find one online, you can make one very easily with a circle. Go back to shapes. And the, what is that? Uh, not an eclipse. It's always a weird sized one. So you just take your circle. I'm just going to do this quick to show anyone who doesn't know how to do it this way. Again, you'll have to kind of work at it a bit more than I'm doing here. You know, get it all tweaked up to what you're looking for. Highlight the two ovals. That's what we'll call them. I'm going to line them top. Highlight everything. Click weld. Highlight, offset, apply. Now my offset's been acting weird. So it's showing white, but normally it shows gray, but highlight both, click slice. And there's your Mickey Mouse outline there. So I'm going to get rid of those because I don't need them. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to duplicate our Mickey Mouse head. We're going to contour, hide all contours, change the color. This is going to be your acetate paper. So whatever color you want that to be. Click duplicate because you will need two of them. Acetate paper layer is done. Now, I'm just guessing that this is the right size that I need <laughs> for the card, and by looking at it, I can see that it is. But get yours before you start making all your different layers. Get it sized the way you want. So now we need to add a circle to the center of this one, because we only want his ears to be open. Let's zoom in. We'll stretch out our circle. And we're also going to make it a different color to make it easier to see what I'm doing. There we go. I'm going to make mine just a little bigger. There. Highlight both and weld. So we're going to need two extra layers on this one. I'm going to change the colors to, uh, let's do light pink for now. These are going to be our print and cut layers. So I've uploaded some images. I will do one with you and the other one I'll do off camera, but just so you can see how to, how we're going to be kind of attaching all these layers. So there's the image I want to put on Mickey's face. So we got to make it a little bigger. Oh, just a little bigger. You want to put that layer to the back so you can see what you're doing. Oh, I like to do it so I can see the cut layer first. It doesn't matter. Put 
Give it a second. My printing cut has been... Oh, sorry, slice has been slow. There we go. So we don't need that layer. So there is our first print and cut layer. Don't need that one anymore. Get your other image. You can do your second one. But first we got to do, or I'm going to move on to this part here. So I'm going to change that to a light blue. Again, just to be easier to figure out what I'm doing. I'm going to grab a square. I'm going to unlock it. I want it to be about one inch across. I'll make it actually a little less. I'm just going to kind of put it on an angle. I'm going to duplicate it. Flip horizontally. Highlight the two bottom ones. Align bottom. Highlight all three and weld. So then we're just going to add a score line. So kind of place them where you want them. And then we'll grab a score line. Rotate it 90 degrees. I'm going to make it four inches long. Grabbing the wrong thing there. I want the score line. There we go. So I'm going to place it above the score line on the card itself. Move the card out, card out of the way. Now everything's moving. Let's try this again real quick. Sorry about that. Yeah, I've got it. Good. Highlight both. Click attach. Duplicate. So yellow layer, acetate paper, this pink layer, which is, I'm going to print it on white paper, is going to be 65 pound cardstock, and the blue layer with the tab is going to be 110 pound cardstock, then the card itself. 65 pound or 110 pound if you want a thicker card, but this will work with 65 pound cardstock. So that's what you need for this point. Go ahead, get everything printed and cut on your end. I'll do the same on my end and I'll meet you at my craft table. Here is everything. I have done a little bit of uh, pre video prep work. So this side of the shaker card, I've already got that put together. So all you're doing, I'll show you on the second side, it's three pieces. So you've got your white 110 pound cardstock. On one side, you're putting your print and cut. And on the back side, you're going to attach your acetate paper and get those lined up. I know it's hard to see the acetate paper as much on that one, but it is there. I just used clear glue because I don't want to leave any residue marks around the ears. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one glued up and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, second one is done. So our next part is we have to add our foam tape. Now I'll do it off camera, but the main things you want to do is you want it to be totally enclosed around the ears. And then don't forget, you got to add some in the circle, none on the tabs. So I'll get mine all done up and then I'll show you. You'll see how I placed it so you know for sure how to place it on your end. There is all the foam tape added. So I'll bring it a little closer for you. You can see I've totally gone around the ears. We don't want any confetti shaker bits falling out. I also went all the way around the main part of Mickey's face. I just don't want the edges to get caught and uh, someone to accidentally rip it apart. So let's add the confetti. I just have square confetti pieces here. I think those are going to look cute. I have not removed the backing on the foam tape. Reason for that is once you remove it, <laughs> As you're dropping the confetti, it will stick to it. We're trying to get a good amount in. 
It's sticking all to my hands. I'll clean that up off camera. Okay, I think that's probably good. So let me get that cleaned up. I'll remove the backing of the tape and then I'll bring you back when we're going to smash the two pieces together, okay? Okay, tape is off. I'm not going to lie. Easier said than done. Be very gentle. My confetti kind of kept jumping up. I had to use tweezers to get it off the foam. <laughs> it was just uh, a little... A little awkward but we're gonna line these up take your time with this part you've only got one shot there we go I'm a little off but I'm okay with that they shake it in there pretty good nice okay on to the next step so we got our card here. We're going to fold it in half. Follow that score line. I was a little off in my fold, but that's okay. It's fixable. Now remember we put score lines in here. They're double score lines. We're going to pop those ones out. Each tab has one. Nice folds in there. Now the trick to this part is, you see how much space there is right now? We just want a little bit more space. We're going to fold those in. We're going to line this up. So again, watch your center line there. Try and leave a bit more space than what was on there. And then we're just going to tape these down. Flip it over, do the same. So because we left a little bit of space, once we open it up, it's going to stand up. Okay, let's add the remainder of our items. So figure out which side you want them to see first. I want them to see that side first because I think that's a gorgeous picture of Sleeping Beauty's castle. We're going to put Mickey on the front. Try not to be like me and go over your edge. You could do Mickey on the front, or whatever you're putting on the front first. Get just rid of some of that tape. Now, we've got our inserts. And we're just going to kind of cover just a little bit of the little tabs that are sticking out. So kind of like that. So, same thing. That's our front. We will put our Mickey balloons. Now this one's a little tricky because you've got <laughs> your shaker bit in the center, but we will try our best. There we go. So I want Mickey's balloon, his shape of his head to be the same on both sides. So I'm going to flip it. It's going to be upside down. Keep running over the end of my thing there. I know you're up in the corner, but he's staying there nicely. So 
let's do the final reveal. You ready for the reveal? You've seen most of it already, but it's still kind of fun doing the reveal at the end. So there's the front of our card. Got a cute little Mickey figurine. Love this picture. I don't have any actual photo paper and I don't have a photo printer. If I did, I actually probably would have printed this on photo paper, get that nice shine to it, and it would have printed so nice. But my printer worked okay. I'm happy with it. Open it up. And see, Mickey's head stands up straight because we left that gap. We could do messages top or bottom. You could do another picture of Mickey or maybe some of Mickey's friends on the top and then leave the bottom one for the message. But the main reason we're here is because of that. Isn't that adorable? Give it a bit of a shake for you. Show you the other side. So this one is the Epcot Center. That one's Sleeping Beauty's Castle with the fireworks going off. I think this turned out fantastic. I am super happy with this. Just got to figure out who to give this to. But this doesn't have to be for a birthday present. If you know someone who's going to Disneyland or Disney World, you could quickly make this up and do the whole bon voyage thing in there. I think that would be super cute. Baby on the way. Congratulations. You know, most parents like the Disney stuff for their kids. But uh, <laughs> thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Until next time.